Hello and welcome to rainy London where today I'm going to be talking about urban activity because what is that? Well in a built-up city like London every couple of weeks you're losing green spaces okay parks are disappearing and more and more buildings are going up and with that people's health tends to decline because they can't get active because they don't have the spaces to do that so what we need to do is find a way to get people active in the cities in a built-up environment and there have been several approaches to that over the last few years some people have just built things up and with a mentality of if we build it they will come and often we now know that they probably don't come uh, in, unless you have like a local leader there who's going to be inspiring people to use facilities and get them active and get them doing things and it's not as easy as that. Then you have spaces which are a bit more regulated turning more and more into community spaces and that's something which is probably the right way to do it. Community design to incorporate that into a space which the people who live around there want to start using to get active. And I'm in Marlborough Active Gardens in Southwark today uh, where we're doing a really, really, really cool project which I'm going to talk about. So let me just take you through this because first of all you're seeing every kind of evolution of how we get people active in urban spaces. To start with you have an area, so we're in a nice area at the moment, okay? And the first thing you do is do very simple things like mark some lines on the floor which you can then turn into tennis courts, football uh, pitches and all things like that. Then you might think to yourself let's do something else. Let's get table tennis tables, urban table tennis. It's really good and it's really popular. In Marlborough Active Gardens they're taking things to the next level because they know that around here in Southwark, there's the shard up there, uh, they know that people can't get active very easily in green spaces because there are none. So what they've done, they've created this awesome place which has sport like that. It also has things like this, like beach volleyball and a climbing wall. And uh, then they decided that they would work with us as well. Oh, they've also got a Mooga, it's worth pointing that out, actually to a football pitch. But so I, when I'm not doing medicine, I run the UK wall ball which is um, probably the best national governing body in the UK for sport. But wall ball is a simple sport designed for inner cities where you hit a ball against the wall with your hand. It doesn't really cost anything. You just need a ball and a wall and then you can get going. But we have put up walls in places. We do a lot of work in schools, but like I said earlier, if you build it, they will come, not necessarily. How do we encourage people to get active in their environment? We don't just want to put up something which is concrete and gray. We just don't want a facility which looks boring. So what we're doing today is very, very cool, very innovative, maybe the first of its kind in the UK. We are building our first ever full-size community warble court going on behind me. I won't show you what the design is going to look like when it's finished just yet, because we'll see that later. But let me tell you why this works really well for urban design. Not only do we have a wall that goes up and it's got a mural on it and on the mural it's going to show people playing so people can look at that and they can see, ah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Then they will see this sign down here where they can learn to play, go watch a video which teaches them how to play and over here, nicely covered up at the moment because of the wet weather, we have a vending machine under that full of balls. So people can literally turn up, they can see what they're supposed to do on the wall, they can watch a video which teaches them how to play, and then they can get a ball for a pound and start playing with by themselves or with a mate or with anyone they like. This, for me, is what urban activity should be. Informal play, which anyone can do, and you can teach yourself. You don't need a coach, you don't need anyone down there because you can do it yourself. And that is what we are trialling out here. This is our pilot project, the first of its kind in the UK, maybe even the world. And hopefully, if this works, we can do this in other places as well. So, urban activity is not just about saying, how do we get people active? Oh, I don't know, get a cycle lane, do this, do that. It's about engaging community to do something which is different, something which is unique and vibrant and exciting that gets people interested in using that urban space as an active space. So I'll update you more as this thing goes up and we'll do a nice grand opening in a couple of months where hopefully it'll be a bit sunnier, but hopefully you'll also be able to see 
that something like this is a really good project, not just for wall ball, for loads of other sports as well, for how we can get people active because they want to be active in their urban space. <laughs>